Vittor Carpaccio, an Italian painter, quite well known for nine pieces of art that he has. But wait, what's that got to do with raw beef sliced thinly and placed on the plate? When I first started out as a cook, I got a taste of what really goes on in the kitchen. Like a junkie wanting more, I was out searching, dining and working in the best restaurants in my reach. The more experienced I gained, the more questions I began asking and the picture became clearer. There is a big gap between a good chef and a great chef. So, this is my search. My search for what makes a great chef. Carpaccio is an Italian dish usually served as a starter or for lunch. You can get pretty creative with what you top your beef carpaccio with, but at its roots it is thinly sliced raw beef. Well, it was invented in 1950 by an Italian chef of the name Giuseppe from Harry's Bar in Venice. It was thinly sliced beef served with lemon, olive oil, truffle and parmesan. So why was it named after the artist? Well, as you can see by this picture, because the artist used a lot of red and white tones in his work. And Giuseppe thought it matched the dish. However, nowadays we use all different types of things and call it carpaccio. That aren't relevant to the colors or the tones that the artist used or even similar to Giuseppe's dish. So what we're recreating now, modernizing the dish using fish and octopus, is that still making it a carpaccio? Or is that just modern? So next time you're putting together a carpaccio and it's full of all bright colors, yellows, greens, pinks, I hope it makes you think back to this video and it makes you question and think what you're putting on the plate.